This famous print appeared as a double-page spread in Harper's Weekly in September 1873, the year after Homer painted two versions of the same theme, schoolboys released from the little red schoolhouse in the background, delighted to be out in the fresh air, exuberantly letting off steam. Homer's wood engravings were made by a collaborative and complicated process that involved many hands and transformed his designs into metal printing plates. In almost all instances, Homer drew on a prepared end-grain boxwood block, often consisting of smaller pieces of wood bolted together. A team of professional wood engravers then cut the design into the blocks. The wood blocks would then be composed onto a page layout combining both the image and the text. Several more technological processes would be required to produce the metal plate from which the journal pages were printed. During the 1870s, Homer produced a number of paintings, drawings and prints that dealt with the theme of children at school and at play. These images are often charming and delightful, nostalgic without being overly sentimental. Snap the Whip remains as popular today as it was when it was first published.